There's a brand new look to early evening entertainment on BBC One with Terry Wogan. No, I'm not the new computerised weatherman, though some would prefer it if I were, notably the DG. Neither am I the new transparent globe logo of this great ship of broadcasting which we call the BBC. I'm Terry Wogan, and I start a brand new series on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays at 7. And I hope to see you then, or I'll be out of a job. Wogan, live on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, starting next week on BBC One. The six o'clock news follows the weather outlook now from Bill Giles. Thanks very much. Very little change in the weather over the weekend. This high pressure dominating the scene, keeping most places dry and very, very cold. And it looks as though it's going to stay fairly windy in the south. This front's never going to be too far away, so let's have a look at it on the satellite picture. It shows up just down to the south there, um, giving a fair amount of cloud there, and that'll be clipping into southern coast from time to time. There will be a threat of some snow, I think, in southern counties, but even down there, only a 50-50 chance. A bit of cloud down this eastern side, and that'll be coming onto the coast from time to time, so that tonight there could be one or two uh, sleet and snow flurries right along that eastern coast, and uh, down in the southwest a little bit too, but I think that'll be dying away. Most places then, a dry night, and as you can see, a very, very cold night, a very severe frost, down to minus 10 degrees centigrade or 14 degrees Fahrenheit, and still very windy down in southern parts of the country. Tomorrow, well, most places a dry day, but a very cold one, although in Scotland, Northern Ireland, the West Country, temperatures just tipping up above freezing, I think, for a time in the afternoon. Now, most places dry with a good deal of sunshine, but right along this eastern coast, I think there could well be one or two sleet or snow showers, but really, really not amounting to very much at all. Most places dry, but down in southern counties, particularly the southwest, still very windy. That's it. Bye-bye. On to now, David Vincent investigates a mysterious medical condition caused by the invaders. This is BBC One. News from the BBC with Sue Lawley and Nicholas Witchell. Good evening. The headlines at six o'clock. 